Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's Foundation Friday for Over 50s, we're going to be taking a look at the newly reformulated foundation from IT Cosmetics. It's Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer. This little guy retails for $39.50 for one ounce and it comes in 12 shades. Now 12 shades is a huge expansion of the shade range uh, from what it usually does, which is six, so that's doubling it. This foundation has actually been out for quite a few years now. So it has been repackaged and it has been reformulated a little bit. So when this guy came out a few years ago, I did try it, but when I looked at the ingredients on this, I noticed that they all look very familiar. I compared them ingredient for ingredient to the It CC cream, and it was the exact same ingredients in the exact same order as the CC cream, but they were charging like $65 for this, where this was 38. So I never understood this product. I thought it was a big misstep for IT Cosmetics. So now the re-release of it, they have changed the outer packaging and they have changed the formula somewhat. When I say somewhat, comparing the ingredients, the first 30 ingredients of this are exactly the first 30 ingredients of this, which you know, might make these be a little bit different, but as we know, it's really like the first, say, six ingredients that are the bulk of what anything is made of. And so once you get into a formula that has 60 ingredients, most of that stuff is in there just in tiny trace amounts. But anyway, I was happy to see that they did reformulate this, that they did bring the price down more in line with their other <laughs> foundations. It's basically a water and snail secretion filtrate and silicone mix. Those are the three main ingredients that are in there, but it also does have seven fermented ingredients that are supposed to help with absorption and efficacy of skincare. I haven't used it long enough to know if that's the case. I don't know if you would ever be able to tell if it made your skincare more effective by using it, but who knows? It also contains vitamin E, aloe, hydrolyzed silk, collagen, and niacinamide. So this foundation is supposed to be a full coverage, hydrating, natural satin finish foundation that's good for all skin types. And this does have its all mineral SPF 50 sunscreen included, just like the CC cream does. It comes in a nice plastic squeezy tube. I do like the IT packaging quite a lot, and it has a pump dispenser. I've always used the IT CC cream in medium. Looking at the light medium shade in this, it was much cooler than this guy. And so I stuck with the medium in this. I have worn it for three days already. Today is the fourth day. And on on one of the days I did do a half face test with half the It CC cream and half of the Bye Bye foundation, so you will be seeing that coming up. On day one, I applied it with no sunscreen because I showered way late in the day, so it was like 4.30 when I put it on. I didn't use any primer. I used my fingers to apply it on one side and I used a It Cosmetics brush on the other side. This applied really easily with both the fingers and the brush. It definitely covered over the redness and any tonal issues that I had, so that was good. It is not full coverage though. I was kind of surprised. It's high medium. I could still see some of my age spots and things through it, and I find the finish to be very radiant, very much like the CC cream. It's a little too radiant for me. I feel like it does accentuate the texture on my skin where I have enlarged pores. So I did set the T-zone with my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. It did though settle into the fine lines on my forehead right away, but it did not settle into pores, and overall I thought it looked really good. With the complete makeup going, I thought it looked really nice. It played well with others. It looks natural and not cakey. Since I got such a late start, I came back for a seven-hour check-in. At that point, it looked pretty good, but there were a few thin spots around my nose and chin and eyebrows, the usual places where my foundation tends to wear a little thin by the end of the day. It was settled into those forehead wrinkles just ever so slightly, but it didn't crack or break up. No one else could see the settling but me and my 15X mirror. It felt lightweight and comfortable to wear for most of the day, but I did have some flakes around my eyes, my nose, and my mouth by the end of the day, but I am using that Tria laser at night. I think that the flakes around my eye and around my nose are probably definitely from that Tria laser from the night before. Historically, I do find the 
it's CC cream to be slightly drying. I have combo skin. All right, so let's move on to day two. For the second day, I used a new sunscreen that I love, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm testing this for the sunscreen video this year. This is the Make Prem Defense Me Blu-ray Sunscreen SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. This is so lightweight, you know, doesn't affect the wear of the makeup or anything. I also use the Smashbox Photo Finish Light Primer to see if I could get a little bit more wear out of it and get it to be a little more smoothing on those pores and things. And I applied it with a sponge. Uh, then I did use setting powder again to smooth and mattify. It blends out really easily. The coverage is nice and smooth and even. I used one pump, so I got medium coverage. I didn't build it up to full coverage today. I like how it looks at medium, but I also kind of like how it looks at full. It doesn't give a cakey mask look of makeup, even with the setting powder. I felt like the primer was helping it to be a little bit less luminous, so I used less setting powder on it today than I did the day before. There was, again, no settling into pores and only minor settling into wrinkles on my forehead. It didn't really settle into any other wrinkles like crow's feet or around my mouth. So at the five hour check-in, overall, I thought it looked really good from a distance, but it was wearing off in the exact same places as the day before. So at the 10 hour check-in, it had faded and worn off throughout the day on my whole face, but it wasn't wearing off badly. It wasn't making me look really awful where I wanted to go up and take it off. It wasn't like broken up on the surface or anything like that. It was just kind of subtly fading away. And so I thought it still looked good. For day three, that was the big day where I tried it head to head against the It's CC Cream. So I applied the CC Cream on one side. I applied the Bye Bye Foundation Cream on the other. I used the Make Prem Sunscreen, no primer. And I used a sponge for both. Both of them are in medium and I powdered the T-zone. No big shocker, but they were both really easy to apply with the sponge. The CC cream was a little sheerer and slightly cooler in color than the Bye Bye Foundation, which is more pigmented and looks a little more orangey. I definitely prefer the color of the CC cream. They seem to have almost the same luminosity in the finish, but the CC cream side seems to be just a little bit shinier to me. I feel like the Bye Bye side looks slightly smoother because it is slightly less luminous than the other side and it does a better job of filling in pores. The CC cream side had more settling into my forehead wrinkles than on the Bye Bye foundation side. With the rest of my makeup done I think they looked pretty identical except for the slight color difference. I wore it around all day. No one seemed to notice that I was wearing two different foundations. So at the five hour check-in both sides showed about the exact same amount of wear, so they are identical from the wear standpoint. They were getting thin and letting some of my redness show through on my chin, nose, and forehead as usual. Both sides had gotten shinier and oilier looking, especially around my nose. At five hours, I was feeling like between the two of these, it was pretty much a dead heat. Stayed up pretty late that night. We're coming back for the 11 and a half hour check-in here, and I thought that they both looked remarkably good for 11 and a half hours. They do wear off a bit, but not in an offensive way. The CC cream side was definitely thinner and breaking up a little bit more on the surface and kind of micro cracking on my cheek. Not anything that you could see unless you were looking at me with the 15X mirror. The fuller coverage was still apparent on the Bye Bye side and it was more smoothing so that now at the end of the day, I actually like the Bye Bye foundation better than my beloved It CC Cream. So if you're trying to decide between the Bye Bye Foundation and the It CC Cream, you know, they are so ridiculously similar. I would say if you already own the CC Cream and you like it, keep using it until it's gone. And then if you wanna to switch to the Bye Bye Foundation, then go ahead and switch. I don't think there's any reason to like jettison this and switch to this. If you are someone who could never find a color match in this one, then definitely look to this one to see if they might have something that would match you now since they did expand the color color range. If you like luminous, you could go for this one. If you like super luminous, there is an illumination version of this that's even more luminous than this guy. So, you know, you could get really luminous on this. But for the overall win, I'm going to give the slight edge to the Bye Bye Foundation. I think the reformulation, it's just slightly better than this guy. It didn't settle into my wrinkles quite so much. And I liked how it looked at the end of the day a little better than this one. All right. So today I have on the Bye Bye Foundation all by itself. I did try a different primer today I used the Hourglass Mineral Veil with it. You know, like I tried a few different sunscreens, no sunscreen, different primer. 
it seemed to wear the same and look the same every day. So it is very consistent, at least from that standpoint. But if there's any drastic changes with this hourglass, I will let you know. So let's take a look at the other lighting conditions. Oh, hello. Are you two going out to play in the snow? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. All right, let's check out the Bye Bye Foundation in the kitchen light. But holy cow, I love this highlight today. Highlight it's so pink and pretty. It's the one from that new Urban Decay um, Back Talk palette. Ooh. I got this in PR yesterday, you guys. It is so good, this Urban Decay Back Talk palette. It's like got three blushes and a highlighter, and then it has eyeshadows in all like pinkies and stuff. All right, well, the storm's over. It's the next day, nice and sunny out today. So let's go out and do the sunshine test. All right, let's just knock back the last two tests, which are the phone test and the flash photography test. All right, sparkly clean phone glass. I know there's some people who can't stand makeup on their phone glass. Yes, this one, definitely makeup on the phone glass. And you know what? Someone told me that um, it, you can't do it with lights on, that it won't give you flashbacks, so you have to put the lights off. Hold on, so let me turn the lights off. Oh, okay. She may be right about that. I'm getting a little bit of flashback off of the IT powder under my eye there, but I'm not getting any off of the foundation itself, even though it does have all that sunscreen in it. The pros on this one are that it is easy to apply with your fingers, a sponge, or a brush. It has that great SPF 50 all mineral sunscreen in it. It is not drying. It offers medium to full coverage. It's buildable. It doesn't settle into pores. It's fairly long wearing, and it kind of fades away now naturally and doesn't do anything really naughty to make your face look bad throughout the day. On the con side is the luminous finish, which I have to wear powder with, but if you like a luminous finish, um, that could of course be a pro for you. It's a con for me. I wish it was just a little bit less shiny. That it does settle into wrinkles slightly, but it's not a deal breaker. And that it is in a limited shade range, even though it has expanded the shade range. Hopefully someday they will have a full broad shade range in these guys. So the verdict on this one is that it is very, very good. It's not going to replace like my Holy Grail, my Chanel Perfection Lumiere Velvet, but but it's right up there and if you're looking for a really great foundation that does have an SPF 50 mineral sunscreen in it it is a great choice to try so on the list the running list of all the foundations that I have that I have tried it's over on my blog I always link it in the information box below the video so on the list it's just gonna edge out the CC cream by one position so that's it for the foundation Friday for today everybody if you're looking for any other foundations that I've reviewed in the past I always include my foundation Friday playlist in the information box. I mean, the point of this series is to help you find a foundation that works well on your more mature, less than perfect skin. So I hope that I have helped you to do that. If I have, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time and really appreciate your watching. So have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye everybody.